Hey, Mikey AI here, and I promise you, if you can learn this simple workflow, it will be so easy for you to learn the rest of N8N, just as easy as these cinnamon rolls that I made. Very simple, very sweet, very easy to make, just like this workflow. So the goal here of this workflow is just to do simply post to Facebook. And I'm gonna show you how I did this. Cause I mean, this copy is actually really good. Imagine waking up tomorrow and finding your entire business running like a well-oiled machine, leads pouring in, emails firing off, and Slack alerts pinging only when it really matters. Sounds like a dream, wow. Here's your wake up call. I'm handing you the top 40 most profitable end to end workflows, okay? So this is what this actual workflow uh, will do for you is create all of this copy. You can see here, I had it going every Every minute for a while and then create these cool images which is really cool now we are using the ideogram api which does cost money um very inexpensive a couple cents less than a couple cents uh for each image okay and it's really important for a bunch of stuff which i'll show you if you keep following with me on how you can use this all for ad creative so this is what it will do. You can set it to go every day, every minute, every 10 minutes, whatever you really need. Um, but it's gonna come in here and create unique copy based off of what you tell it. And then also unique images based off of what you tell it. And for most businesses, you can, you can use this. You can actually do the same exact thing as what I'm talking about, okay? So let's jump over into the workflow and check it out. All right, so here we are in the actual NNN workflow, which you can download for free right now. And I'm gonna show you exactly each step. First, I'm gonna just hit test down here, and then it's gonna actually run through this. It's gonna go grab an API call from ideogram.ai. It's then going to use a very simple prompt. My whole AI philosophy is if it can't do a simple prompt, then it's stupid. And uh, this then I said, clickbait add to download free N8N workflows. And then the prompt it actually created because Idealgram uses whatever you tell it and then it actually has its own AI inside of it. So it's like double AI. And that's why I prefer Idealgram the best for making images uh, is, uh, a clickbait ad with text to download free end to end workflows. The image shows a collage of various end to end workflows, those icons of a robot, a brain, right? And then it goes and actually gives you a URL of the image. Then it goes over to open AI to chat GPT. And then I have in here an existing um, uh content basically that i already made so i already wrote some sales copy about the offer and then i just told it to keep it under a thousand characters because that's the most important when posting to facebook for content for your text you gotta have under thousand characters because you'll hit api access and then it just said write under a thousand characters uh i have a very specific style of writing that i do um, which is called punchline writing, Frank Kern style. And uh, Frank Kern is a marketer that uh, I, I learned from as a guru guy um, who is legit. And uh, I've been following him for a long time. I learned a lot of direct response marketing from him. And then punchline writing is where it will segment it down. Uh, so if you look here, uh, where to go? There we go. It will it will kind of punchline it like this, so it'll automatically do that right there, which is important when you're posting to Facebook. So you got to remember you want to be um, jumping over here. You want to be um, writing in that, and then I have it say I think here format for Facebook somewhere. Uh, so then it adds it to uh, to make it to where it does send some formatting for Facebook. But for the most part, see these ends right here. That's a space. So that's kind of the punchline writing basically. So then it will take that and then write that. And then inside this last post, and it's just very simple. It's very important to be super simple. You don't want to get super complicated, then nothing happens, right? Then in here, you have where it gets annoyed. So inside, this is how they work. And then I'll try to show you how to get access to this stuff. But this is what you can actually do without a higher level request from Facebook is you can go and get access to your API and start posting immediately onto your Facebook page by finding your Facebook page ID. That's what that is in the node. 
and then forward slash photos for your node. So there's a couple millions of different ways to do that. One of the ways here is on your Facebook page. If you go all the way up to about and then go to transparency, your page ID is right there. So you can easily find that. Uh, and then forward slash, there's a bunch of other forward slashes. Then in here, you want to add these query parameters which are going to uh, then send over the caption and then send over the URL for the image and then also send your access token that you get from the Graph Explorer. Got, and there's a guide. You should probably read that on developers. Uh, the Graph Explorer is this thing, which then you need to make sure that you set the correct permissions uh, which if you could run into errors, which just means that it gives you access to the page uh, and also for Instagram if you're going to do that. Um, and then you want to, you can either do user or you can do page access. I think page sometimes works a little bit more specific. So check that and use your page and then you copy that. And then that is your actual token for accessing the graph API. Then the Facebook graph API uh, will then grab your node. No, you're trying to send it a photo. And then this is where you would just come over into what has been already done. So right here, the caption here wants to be the content that OpenAI, that ChatGPT made. So you want to grab that and then you want to drag that over into there like that, right? So I already have that in there. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, and then you want to do the same thing with the URL of the image that Ideogram uh, created and gave to you. So you want to grab that and put that over there. And then you just paste your access token in there. You shouldn't need anything else. And then it will go ahead and you can hit test if you want to test it out. It will post to Facebook. Very easy. It shouldn't be harder than this at all okay so if you can get that going then yes you could add on uh, another one to go to uh, instagram you could add on another one to go to twitter you could you could have it kind of go down the line but just get one going and get it going really well and get it going as something that you do like and then more importantly what would be cool is if they actually were posts that you could use for advertising because if they're on your page, you can access them in the back end for ads, which is really important because that's hard to do. So uh, that is how you run this workflow. You can download that for free at Mikey.ai. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.